Thank you for joining me today on ZI Access. Today we will be discussing alarms. We will discuss the type of alarms that ZI Access has, what notifications you will receive once an alarm has been triggered, and who those alarm notifications will go to. Alarms are extremely important for companies so that they can decide what the next steps are for a site and where alarm has been triggered. First, let's talk about the alarms that we have. In the top right-hand corner of your ZI Access screen here, you will have the alarms, and this will indicate all of the alarms that have been triggered for this company. In gray, we have the no communication alarm. This indicates that the site itself has not been in communication or has been offline for 24 hours. In red, we have the high high or low low or smart aleck cry out alarm. This indicates that the sensor itself is extremely outside of the parameter set that has already been set. The high low alarms means that this sensor is slightly outside of the parameters that have been set up for this site. The RTU alarm in black here is no longer in use. The blue indicates the missing flow parameter configuration. This alarm will be triggered should a site need to have the missing flow parameters updated. When an alarm is triggered, this pull down screen will show all of the sensors and the sensor itself will change into the color indicated by the alarm type that it is experiencing at that time. To change the alarms or to configure them, go into the admin and you can select alarms, or in the screen itself, you can click on the pull down menu under configure alarm and select that. What we can see here is the alarms that have been set up. So we have the no communication after 24 hours, and this little group of people means that there is a group that will be notified if this site has no communication after 24 hours. The other alarms that are set up here are the RTU charge voltage, voltage, and voltage alarms. This gas flow rate, differential pressure, and static pressure are also sensors that have been set up that have the ability to have an alarm set up for them, but they have not at this time. I'm going to select voltage here. And as you can see, this site has already been configured for an alarm. It has enabled in the high, low, and you can select as well the high, high, low, low. You can set the reset time, the reset value, and you can select the hysteresis time. After a certain amount of time, the RTU will run a demand pool and confirm whether the sensor is in the alarm state or if the alarm can be cleared. Here is a graph that will show you what the sensor has been doing over the past seven days. If we click on message here, we can customize this page and this will be the message that will be sent out to the contact. Here is high, high or high, low. We can select the hierarchy, the high, the low, the sensor, or sorry, the serial number, the sensor, the time and date, the value, the well site, high, high, or low, low. And we can create it into a customizable template. Within that, if we want to add any additional notes, once this alarm has been set off to the contact, we can do that here as well. Once that is complete, we select save. Here in the contact, we can select our user. We can select just one user to receive a notification that this alarm is going off. In the users, we will have them set up either via text or email to notify them about this alarm. We can also set up a group to a group of people to receive the notifications. And you can set up your group in the user's permissions as well. We can create a contact schedule to identify each user at a specific time. We could have no contact at all, or we can create unchanged. Here we can have the maximum number of retries, so between zero and five retries, 
and retry interval. Depending on how important this site is, you could have between 60 seconds to retry or between 24 hours. Now, once this is set up, you can select test to ensure that this is going correctly and looks the way that you want to send out notifications once this alarm has been triggered. Once this is done, we can se select save. Now, once an alarm is triggered, a notification will be sent out and allow the user to know which site has an alarm being triggered. Thank you for joining me today, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call or email your customer service representative.